All right, welcome back YouTube. So we have the EGR delete kit installed. You saw that on my last video. And uh, then we had some fuel head issues. I will show you some image of that, of the damaged one. Got the new fuel head in. The only thing I have left now is to reflash the computer because I have a check engine light coming on. And again, this is sort of like the last video. I'm not gonna do a how-to really because Get It Garage did such a good job with that one. Um, but I'll try to patch in some, and I'll leave a link below in the description uh, to their video if you really want a how-to. Um, I'll try to try to fill in some blanks that they, they maybe missed. For instance, they talked about the OBD2 connector being by your knee when you're sitting at the driver's seat. Um, it's your right knee. It is right, just right below, for me, since I have a 4x4, uh, right by the the transfer case handle so um, but you know simply anybody could figure that out just by popping their head under the dash and looking but anyway we're gonna try to uh, to get to I I've been on a wild journey with the software necessary so I've got my laptop here plugged in USB MP into the OBD2 um, uh, they say it doesn't work on Windows 10 units um, I so I downloaded the Get it garage did it on a Windows 10 computer. I downloaded everything and I kept getting this error message. Then I downloaded um, a virtual box so I could run a copy of Windows 7. Like it's, it's sort of like creating a computer within your computer. And uh, <laughs> I figured out a way to get a, a serial key for Windows 7 on top of that, paid for that. Um, and then got the same error message. Uh, to oversimplify my problems that I had, what I found was after I finally installed everything, if you just go to the, when you double click on the, instead of double clicking on the icon to get into the program, I found if I right clicked and ran as administrator, that got me in. So fingers crossed, we're gonna see if we can reflash this computer. So I am now going to, uh, first off, I'm gonna try to identify what uh, ECU I have. There's a couple different serial numbers out there. So um, step one in this process is to identify your current ECU. All right, good news is first step first, um, we're plugged in, we got proper voltage readings. They say you wanna be over 12 and uh, I'm, I'm right over I'm like 12.1. Before I turned the key on, I was at like 12.5. Um, and so after we plug in, we got ID our ECU first. So over on the, let me lean my seat back for a second. So over on the left hand side of the screen, there are three options, ECU ID, uh, read F2 and write, we select read so we can read what we currently are in. We have the key in the on position and um, this file transfer they say takes about five minutes. So far we're at like a little over 55% and it's only been going for like a minute. So you wanna keep your laptop uh, charged up as high as possible. So that's gonna help. Um, and then we'll check back in when we, when we get that completed. All right, so as soon as the file downloads, it's going to want you to save out what we were trying to save out. So we'll do that and we'll just throw it on the desktop so we know exactly where it's at. After we hit save, it, a dialog box comes up that says switch off key to continue. And so you'll want to hit OK and then turn your key off. They give you five seconds to get that done in. So it doesn't have to be like simultaneously, but I'd recommend sort of hitting OK first on the computer then. So we'll put the hand over here and then we'll get get in position. So we'll do that. And let's double think about this just so we don't screw this up. But so uh, left click is the normal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's the normal process. So we'll get ready to hit OK. And then we will switch off. So OK. Key off. OK again. Okay, so we've downloaded that file. It's a bin file, they say, uh, to open with Notepad. So we will do that. And the first, it's a bunch of binary code BS. And the, it's really your answer is going to be in the first, um, the first line. Again, uh, Get It Garage does a screenshot follow or um, screen recording follow. So it's a little, you'll see exactly what, what I'm talking about. Um, 
the most popular ECUs are 808s and 811s. Um, they're 8, yeah, 8011, I believe. Uh, mine's an 808, it appears, and that's, again, that's the first few lines. So now that we know that, we can go online and download the proper flash program uh, that has to be for an 808 ECU. All right, so now that we got the file downloaded, um, we're gonna open back up the program, the MPPS program. Um, and then when I was talking to you about the, uh, the options in the upper left-hand corner, um, we're gonna select the bottom one, which is right. And then basically we're just gonna path to the new uh, .bin file that we had downloaded. Um, and then it's sort of just the same steps. You're turning the key and then it'll, it'll reflash it and then um, it'll tell you it's done and to turn the key off, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna do that and then hopefully we can take, it, take this on a test spin, kind of give you some initial first reactions. All right, so we're in the middle of the reflash. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in for you guys uh, to get you kind of a close up of what that looks like. Um, luckily, I've only dropped once below 12 volts at 11.99, so I feel pretty good about that, but let's see if we can't get you a close-up on what's going on. Okay, so you're probably getting some killer glare, looks like, for my LED light, but um, there's a little progress bar, and um, again, the key's in the on position. We're just hanging out here, uh, letting it upload. The volts I was telling you about is clear down in this corner, which looks like my it's just below my finger, uh, so it's off screen. Um, but yeah, we're just hanging out. It's been going for two minutes, 39 seconds, and um, we are about 66% of the way through. So um, again, it'll give us that warning message about turning turning off, and then we'll turn it back on. But again, we're so far this has been pretty slick, pretty simple. So I uh, can't wait to give you that test drive and sort of first impressions. All right, so that's it. We've got a new uh, new program loaded onto the ECU. Everything went well. Um, didn't give any error messages, which is great. Um, so now I guess it's only a matter of let's let's start the thing up and let's see if there's no check engine lights. And uh, if there's no check engine lights, uh, let's take it for a spin. Okay, so it's running, but bad news. We still have the check engine light on. So, yay, another like probably weeks of figuring this out and diagnosing it but I guess we'll see if the tune took all right so that was very frustrating to have spent all that time and really not the flashing itself didn't take a lot of time just all all the time I spent this week trying to trying to figure out how to get that dang program loaded up and everything and a check engine light still comes on so I'm kind of fed up with it at this point um I'm I mean I'll, I'll get back on it this week but but this is where this video is going to stop, I guess. Um, as far as the Stage 1 flash, it uh, I didn't honestly really notice any performance difference uh, with the butt dyno. Now, that being said, I did punch it like from a rolling like 40 mile an hour to get up to 55. I s seemed to feel like that 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 was a little more instantaneous. Um, and then like really, really, really down low, like 0 to 10 mile an hour, maybe a little, little more instant. But... Um, so we'll see. I'll plug that computer back in, see if it, I can figure out how to uh, get it to see if it um, throws any codes, and then we'll start there. Because the only other thing I'm thinking of is I did clean my my map sensor as part of this. Uh, you know, when I was doing the whole elbow intake, the the EGR delete, the uh, FCV delete, and uh, just because I was in there. And uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I cleaned it with the wrong solution, the wrong kind of chemical, and maybe that's making it not function properly. So, you know, we'll see. We'll just, uh, I gotta do research, figure out how do I how do I read codes or whatever um, from that program I've installed. And, uh, or, or maybe the, maybe the new tune never really took. Uh, so I don't know, but uh, at least one thing I will say, it, it, it drives fine otherwise. Like there's nothing that makes me think that it's running improperly so um but oh well uh that'll do it for this episode until next time peace out